Right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. Uh, the name of the video is uh, Cookies Cookies and Milfs, guys. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Uh, coming from uh, the comedian Matt Reif. Cookies and Milfs. I'm frustrated. We thought maybe a gift would help. I seem frustrated. A gift maybe help? Maybe after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. What is this? Oh, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't it's know. probably not broken. We don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I, I guess. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, bro. That's all you're probably gonna ever get in Iowa. Listen, guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I, I'm sure you would all understand. It's okay, bro. You can go ahead and up, right? get off the stage. There's, uh, there's right, one right. more thing in here. <laughs> Cookies? Are you kidding me? Don't eat it. Don't. <laughs> gonna have a hard time beating this, this is fantastic. It's, it's like the perfect consistency too oh my god thank you so much what's your name christina you are so hot thank you so much i mean yeah oh my god she's a grandma you're a grandma no I don't believe it, bro. Put that shower chair to use. <laughs> There's already plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess. You know? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> this is dirty talk. She's super embarrassed, bro. Come on. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. 40, 45. 40, 45? Are you serious? Are you, fr are you from here? Really? We gotta get you out of here. Minneapolis. We gotta get you the out of here. Minneapolis, at least. Let's just get you out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman Bro, who makes great Why are you? Why are you being so disrespectful to the crowd? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just make a, a solid guess here. I think the majority of his, uh, most likely, the majority of his fan base is full of women, guys. I get that vibe. Stupid. I'm so sorry. What, are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Four. Oh, what? That's enough, though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's enough. You have your tubes tied? You do? I'm gonna move in the morning. Yeah. Uh. Those are your sisters? Yep. It's almost like he's like uh like like speed dating her. Three sisters? Uh, I'm the oldest out of nine. Are you sure your sisters? The one on the end maybe guys. But... Nine. <laughs> Would you like to have some? I mean, what else is there to do in Iowa, bro? I'm sorry. I can only imagine. If she's from Iowa. She, listen. I'd have all these kids also, bro. I'm sorry. A hot older sister. <laughs> Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? No. She doesn't? Oh. Good. <laughs> I saw that coming. Keep her humble. You're nothing, Christina. <laughs> that hasn't been much. That hasn't been much, sir. You're going to be stuck here in Iowa forever unless... <laughs> unless... Right. Right. That's exactly how people do it, too. That's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show him? Was it a bank statement? What was it? <laughs> your, daughter. your daughter? This is your daughter? Show us. Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is... Bro, her daughter, I can only imagine. I, I can only imagine, okay? I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is right. your daughter? Right. How old is she? This is the 21 year old? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very tough decision to make, you guys. I don't know if you've ever been put in this position, but. This is in Jacksonville, Florida? I'll be down there. Mm. <laughs> I think later on this year. 
She looks exactly like you. This I can is only imagine. Yes, she does. She's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna date you for the next ten years, and then we'll we'll trade up. <laughs> this is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. I believe that he would probably actually go to this Thanksgiving, bro. Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's gonna be a problem. If you taste this good. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing, losing your kids. You might find them. <laughs> no, that's, that's bad. Yeah, bro. But if the one in Jacksonville goes missing, mind your business. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. Oh, no. Oh, no, bro. Now, let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... Of course. No way. No way. <laughs> uh -huh. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. You had a lump in your breast? I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram and recently. I'm best friends with my kids. Uh -huh. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh huh. Because, uh, oh, yeah, you're not going to ask for ugly people's advice. Yeah, right. I totally get it. Yeah, do that. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTimed With just a it out. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, you know it's in the palm of your hand. Right, right. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> Are you sure? Text messages. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? FaceTimer. <laughs> Maggie, that is not your angle. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you right now? Hungover as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, imagine. Imagine. And I'm, I'm guessing her, her daughter knows fully about who, who this man is. Oh, my God. Do you, <laughs> right. Do you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? Like, <laughs> you know you can't bring anybody home. Right. Um, yeah, your mom that's... was stupid enough to to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and uh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm glad I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out; everything's totally okay. Second opinion, everything's totally all right. See your kitties. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she's so embarrassed. Like, why would you give a comedian your phone? <laughs> sure did. Right. Sure did. And, um... Well, you're a lucky mother... Right. Yeah. I don't know. All right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. Bye, bye Mom. You. I love you. Bye, Maggie. Guys, this is... I, I, I've definitely never seen this happen before, guys. We've seen a lot of sketches, guys. Of sets. What, what, sets. what do you mean they fucked him up? What? what? Who what? up your titties? The doctor? Do you have fake boobs? Fuck. Um, <laughs> prove it. <laughs> right. Prove it right now. You, they make sounds. They make sounds. Like, like what? Like, like what? What, what sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on this. Guys, I want to hear the sound. Date with Christina. And I. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. <laughs> What was that? 
What the fuck? You're what? lying. <laughs> that did not just happen. Like like uh, like dog squeaky toys, bro. You was that a real thing? Prove it. <laughs> Why and how? I'm gonna need a refund, bro. Yeah, we'd have to she get a refund. She has a squeaky toy in her. Absolutely, gym. she does. <laughs> and you talking to a doll? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, oh. What? That's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. No, nah, that was a mistake, bro. You can get squeaky toys inside your titties? Can you customize them like a Tesla horn? Probably not. What made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids. You breastfeed? Two of them. Two of them. Damn. Because you know it goes great with cookies. <laughs> milk. Sell it. Bro, not that milk. No. Not that bad. So encountering this guy for the first time, I do think that he is absolutely confident on stage, guys. Uh, like confidence multiplied by probably a, a thousand, guys. Right? Um, he's absolutely energetic on stage. I like the fact that we just encountered like this weird like speed dating thing. Uh, I've never seen a comedian pull someone's phone out, but I definitely want to see more of that, guys. Um, he definitely feels like a um, like a comedian that is more. Um, I guess like used to delivering exclusively to women though, guys. Um, that's the overall vibe I get from him, if that makes any sense, guys. Um, but all right, listen, let me know in the comments on the next thing from him, uh, preferably a, an actual set, guys, right? Um, that I should be checking out from him and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can, all right? And listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.